In our Getting Started with Triggers video, we began creating a shipping simulation. In this video, Advanced Trigger Editing, we will be continuing with that simulation. We've already added two warning icons near the Great Lakes Waterway Canals to kick things off. We will start off by adding a trigger that has its time synchronized to the time another trigger fires. This is often done to tie icon changes to other triggers in your simulation. To add the trigger, you can either select the object and then click the Add Trigger tool, or you can right-click the object and choose Add Trigger. We will choose an icon trigger. In the Properties window, we'll choose the Icon tab and then browse to a currency icon and click Select. Next, we will take a look at the Specify How Long to Display the New Icon section where we can elect to change the icon permanently or for a specified amount of time. We'll choose to change the icon for 3 seconds. Now we'll move to the Timing tab, choose to have this trigger occur after a specific trigger fires, and select the Trade trigger. We will then click OK and then Done to finalize our choices. We can now see that the ship icon will be changed every time the ship stops to trade at a city. Now let's look at how to delete an existing trigger. Let's delete the visibility on trigger for the Canal 2 warning icon since we're going to sync its visibility with the Canal 1 warning icon. We'll start by clicking on it in the trigger list. Then on the general tab, we will click on the delete this trigger button. You'll notice that the warning icon is now grayed out on the canvas, indicating that it has no visibility. We will correct that problem in a moment. Next, let's take some time to make our warning signs flash on and off. To do this, we'll go to the trigger list and click the visibility on trigger for Canal 1. Once the properties window opens, we will go to the Recurrence tab and choose to have the recurrence happen at fixed intervals after the first timeout. We'll also specify an interval time of 2 seconds and we'll stop the recurrence at the end of the simulation. Because we want to sync both warning signs and have them flash at the same time, we will move over to the Secondary tab and select Canal 2. We will finish by saying OK. A quick look at the timeline will show us that Canal 1 and Canal 2 now look the same with the trigger firing at times of 0 seconds, 2 seconds, 4 seconds, and so on. In order to make our flashing effect work, we'll also need to set up a visibility off trigger. We'll start by right clicking on Canal 1 and selecting Add Trigger, and then we will choose a visibility trigger. On the Visibility tab, we will choose to hide the object. Next, we'll move to the Recurrence tab where we'll choose to have this trigger recur at fixed intervals after first time out with a two second interval time and ending the recurrence at the end of the simulation. Next, we will move to the Timing tab where we set the initial start time for the trigger to one second, which will cause the trigger to fire at times of one second, three seconds, five seconds, and so on. The secondary tab is our next stop and on here we will choose Canal 2 so that both Canal 1 and Canal 2 are synced. Finally, we will click OK and then Done to complete the creation of the trigger. If we move our timeline indicator, we can see that there are times when our signs are grayed out, indicating that our flashing effect is working. We can also see that creating the trigger with the properties that we entered caused 14 triggers to be automatically created. From the timeout list, we can also see where each of those triggers fires for both objects. As much as we've already customized our triggers, we can customize them further using conditions, which allow for additional restrictions on when a trigger will fire. Let's set a condition where our signs stop flashing anytime the ship is inside the canals where the signs are located. To start, let's reopen our visibility off trigger for Canal 1 and go to the Timing tab. Now, we'll click on the Conditions button and then the plus sign to create a new condition. 
We can now easily update the condition properties to only turn off visibility if the ship is not close to the canal icons and then finish by clicking OK twice. Now the signs will stop flashing whenever the ship is inside of the canals. Our simulation is coming along nicely, so let's go ahead and wrap up this video by watching it in action in the Sting Player. Thanks for watching. Uh -huh.